Hey guys, it's Hinta and welcome to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video, I want to share with you how I make these beautiful and delicious cakesicles. I made these few weeks back for my little girl's birthday and they turned out so delicious and so beautiful as they always do. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you all the tips and everything you need to know to make the perfect cakesicles that everybody loves. And as you see here, I decorated each little cakesicle different, but they all fall into the same theme of pink and white and sweet little girl things. So, but this is really optional and personal. You can do whatever you want with the cakesicle. The main thing is how to get them to look so pretty and stable and not to have a thick layer of chocolate and have a delicious and moist cake inside. And if you are new to the channel, we make a lot of delicious things here, so make sure to hit the subscribe button, the little bell to get all the notifications, and let's get started. And of course, like always, don't forget to check the description box for all the ingredients you're gonna need with all the measurements, so let's get baking. So let me walk you through everything you're gonna need. So basically, you're gonna need a cake, of course. Use any cake that you prefer or you like. I have here a lemon cake, my favorite, and I'm gonna be using this. Just make sure that it's moist and delicious. You're gonna need about two big tablespoons of American buttercream. I have here basic buttercream with vanilla. And of course, you're gonna need some good baking chocolate. Here I have white chocolate and pink to decorate with. I was going to make a pink one, but then I decided to go white and decorate it with pink. It looks much better. And of course, you can also use candy melts for that. And of course, you're gonna need these silicone molds for your cakesicles. And I think they are really easy to find online or in your shops and they are really worth it to have. And you're gonna need these wooden sticks for your cakesicles. And to decorate, you're gonna need uh, pearls or whatever you would like to decorate your cakesicles with, whatever it goes with the theme or whatever you want them to look like. This is really optional and personal. So first thing I'm gonna do is start melting my chocolate. I'm gonna start with this because I want my chocolate to melt slowly, to be smooth, to have this nice tempered and nice shine to it, nice cracking, and it's gonna be much easier to work with. So I'm, what I'm going to do is pop it in the microwave on 700 watts for about 30 seconds at the time, not more than 30 seconds, not more than 700 watts, and kind of be stirring in between. Each 30 seconds, I'm gonna be taking it out stirring and putting it again for another 30 seconds till it's totally melts and this might take a little while so that's why i started doing this at the beginning and of course if you're not using a microwave you can melt the chocolates in a double boiler with some steaming water at the bottom make sure the water is not touching the dish you are using to melt the chocolate and that the heat is not too high just do it slowly and this is how you will get a nice tempered chocolate with a nice shine to it so now to the cake. How much cake you're gonna need depends of the consistency or the moist of the cake you're using, whatever recipe you are using. Here I have a very moist lemon cake and it takes me about this small 20 centimeters uh, baking tin small cake kind of. You can somehow measure it easier when you crumble the cake using just your hands as you see in the video, I crumble it. And then you're gonna need a little bit more than a handful of crumbled cake for each cakesicle. So once I crumble all the cake, then it's easier for me to measure how much I really need. And you're gonna need about one small cake. You can also use a Back to the chocolate. My chocolate is now ready. It has had enough time to melt slowly and it has a nice texture. Make sure that your silicone molds are nicely clean and wiped with some paper. You don't want to have any traces of lint or dust or whatever in them. And another tip I can give you is to wash them with hot water. When they stay warm while you are pouring the chocolate, it helps the chocolate melt and spread better. And this is how you will avoid having any cracks or missed spots. Then go ahead and add about three teaspoons or four, however much you need of chocolate to cover the whole surface, the sides and the bottom of your molds. And as you see, when I turn them around, it makes it nicer and easier to spread. And this is where it helps if your silicone molds are warm. So even though I see that the chocolate has nicely spread, I'm gonna keep turning it for another 30 seconds or so, just to make sure that not the whole chocolate sits to the bottom once I put it down. So I just keep turning it around while the chocolate is setting. 
And by the way, this scraper is a game changer. So if you have it, go ahead and use it. If you don't have it, try to get it. It's going to make it much easier to work with the chocolate. And now it's time to insert our wooden sticks. And what I want to do here while inserting the wooden stick is making sure that they have a little bit of chocolate in them. So you can either stick them and move them for a couple of times in and out just to make sure that they get enough chocolate to stick nicely to the chocolate shell you have uh, made. And you don't want to stick them inside all the way to how you want to have them at the end because we're still going to insert them a little bit more once we add the cake. And as you see in the video, I only inserted them like quarter of way through and this is very enough. So I'm going to place my silicone molds in the freezer for the chocolate to totally set and harden before we continue. So my crumbled cake is ready. Like I said, once you crumble it, you're going to need about a little bit more than a handful, a handful and a half for each cake sickle. And then for the quantity I have, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of American buttercream which is basically whipped butter with ice and sugar and a little bit of milk and vanilla and you can use any flavor you like. Try not to add too much cream at the beginning, it's better to add more but you cannot take it back so go ahead and add about one tablespoon at the time. And how much buttercream you're gonna need, this also depends on the consistency of the cake you used, how moist it is, what kind of cream you used. But you really want to work it in like almost as if you're kneading so you want to work all the cream into the cake. Don't worry if it's too crumbly, just add a little bit of buttercream at the time until you end up with a nice consistency. How you know that you have the right consistency, you're gonna make a kind of a fist and if it stays stable, if it's not too crumbly, then it's ready. Make sure not to add too much cream because then it's gonna be oily and it's gonna turn into a dough. My chocolates in the silicone molds has been sitting in the freezer while I was preparing the cake. So now it has nicely set. So what you want to do here is go ahead and go around. Make sure to cover if you see any spots that are not nicely covered. You want to have it as smooth and even as possible. You don't want to add too much otherwise you will end up with a very thick layer of chocolate and it's not so pleasing to bite into. So you want to have enough chocolate of course but not too much. So just take your time go around cover whatever places you see that don't have enough chocolate try to smoothen it out try to work it especially around the stick and keep doing that until you are happy with it if you prefer to you can use a small brush it might make the work easier for you but i think the back of a spoon works just as fine as it allows me also to smooth and kind of scrape the excess chocolate but a brush works just as fine find whatever is easier for you to work with and because the first layer of chocolate is already frozen, as soon as you add chocolate here, it's gonna start setting immediately and hardening. So you don't wanna pour it and work it afterwards. You're gonna be adding it and straightening it immediately with the back of a spoon or a brush. By doing that, you're gonna avoid having places where there is a big lump of chocolate to bite into and it's not gonna be even and smooth. So take your time, do this and make sure to get all the spots and Patience. The chocolate would normally set immediately because it's already frozen, but you can place it in the freezer for a minute or two before we're gonna start filling the cakesicles. Since we already inserted the wooden sticks, you're not just gonna simply add the filling on the bottom. You wanna make sure to get the filling all around the wooden stick. So take your time and add the filling around to the bottom, kind of stuff it behind the wooden stick before you fill in the rest of the space. So now that I'm sure there is enough filling around the whole wooden stick, there is enough cake, there are no empty spaces, I'm going to go ahead and fill the rest of the cake sickle. You want to make sure that there are no empty spaces, take your time to kind of press it and make sure that all the little corners are filled. If not, once the cake sickles will go into room temperature and they're a little bit warm, they're going to start sinking and losing the shape. And now it's time to insert the wooden stick all the way to the middle until the mold stops. And I'm gonna repeat for all the cakesicles I have. 
And finally, I'm going to cover them with the white chocolate. And if the chocolate has hardened, you can microwave it for another 30 seconds or keep it on a hot water bath so that it starts melted and smooth. And then I'm gonna add a thin layer, just enough to cover the whole bag and make sure to get the little corners in, on the sides of the cakesicle. And finally, use a scraper or the back of a knife to get rid of all the excess chocolate. At this point, the chocolate must be kind of a sticky or a paste-like texture because of the cold and frozen molds. So take your time to do this. As you see, the scraper makes the work easier and faster because you can at the same time smoothen the chocolate to have a smooth surface and get rid of the excess. So take your time to do that and make sure all the corners are nice, sharp and smooth and then place it again in the freezer for at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes or even more till it's totally set. And as soon as you take them out of the freezer, you're gonna have to unmold them right away. They should be still frozen to easily take them off. So you normally just pop them out and gently pull out the wooden stick. And as you see, they look perfect and they have a nice shiny kind of crust to them. And it can be that sometimes around the wooden stick, you have little cracks and this is really easy. You're just gonna have some melted chocolate to cover them up. And finally for the garnishing or the decorating part, this is totally personal and up to you, you can do whatever you want, any colors, you can use any garnishments you, you prefer, you can even use fondant. Just go ahead and do this while they are still frozen so that they stick easier on the cakesicles. For me personally, I'm decorating with some uh, pink melts, so I melted my chocolate also in the microwave. And then I randomly just piped it over my cakesicles. There are only two rules here. You want to add your garnish before the piped chocolate sets. And you want to do this while it's still soft so that the garnish actually sticks to it. If not, it's not going to stick. So you're going to have to do this fast and one by one. And for these little hearts, I added a little bit of melted chocolate so that they easily stick. And as I said, you can use anything you would like or you prefer. You can even use fondant. I hope I managed to give you all the information, all the tips and everything you need to know to make the most beautiful and delicious cakesicles. I can guarantee you if you follow these tips, you're going to have a very beautiful cakesicles with a very nice shell and nice filling. And as I said, the decoration is really up to you. I hope you will be trying this recipe out soon. If you do, please let me know how it turned out. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell to get all the notifications and see you soon in a new video. Happy baking.